Well, good morning, lovely ladies and gentlemen. Steve Collins coming to you from gorgeous, bright, shiny San Antonio, Texas, the second most powerful, passionate, and purposeful coach and speaker in the world. Hope you guys are excited for this wonderful Thursday. As you know, my favorite day of the week are the ones that end in D-A-Y. This is my favorite day, y'all. It's going to be a great day today. Let's have a conversation this morning, shall we? What is Voice of One Executive Performance Coaching anyway? Well, you know, there is doing work, there is doing jobs, and then there is what we would consider executive performance. And it is a very, very different world, the world of executive performance, and it's going to relate today. My goal today is for you to be able to take whatever it is that you do and have an awareness that empowers you to show up differently in your life today than you may have ever shown up before. Now, it's always important when I go hard and heavy and deep into what I do, which many have told me, how do you do these videos? How do you do it so quick? How do you have so many topics? How have you come up with a different topic every day for almost two and a half years? And it's because the good Lord's wisdom is infinite and he always has something to say. And he's a fascinating conversationalist. I enjoy time with him. And then I share from our time with you for free. So, Let's talk about this real quickly. Executive performance versus just normal working. I was telling you, last week our office went to what we call a Keller Williams Red Day once a day. Out of the year, all the Keller Williams worldwide go to give back to the community. We went to a place called Haven for Hope, which was a homeless shelter and a rehabilitation place to send people back into the workforce. We had about 15 people on the crew that I was a part of, although there were hundreds across the city serving. But on this little crew, we had to move one space to another space, move that stuff back to the other space. This was our job, all right? When we were done, the lady who had been observing us was looking at us like this the whole time. Kind of stank face, I thought. I wasn't sure what that was all about. I waited till the end because I didn't want to disrupt our work pattern. And I simply said, why are you looking at us that way? Are you all right? And she said, normally we have twice as many people working on this, this type of project, twice as many people, but they only do half the work that y'all's team did today. You have half the people and you did twice the work. And I said, well, ma'am, who normally comes, who normally volunteers? And she named several companies. And I said, so this is not a good or bad thing. It's just a thing. Here's what the difference is. If you brought people who were employed by a boss, they are used to performing a certain way. They typically earn a salary or they earn a dollar per hour fee and they work at a particular pace. The people you just saw serving you today are realtors at the number one real estate office in the world. We don't get paid like everybody else. You see, the doctor gets paid whether you live or die. The attorney gets paid whether you go to jail or go free. The realtor only gets paid if they produce results and perform. So our life is about performing at the highest level, at the most efficient executive performance level. That's the difference. And she said, aha. So I ask you this, in your life, are you like that warning label? Do you have a warning label on your neck like the vitamin bottles? Those vitamin bottles that say minimum daily requirement. Minimum daily requirement. This is my minimum daily requirement. This is all they pay me. That's all they pay me to do. And I'm only going to do what they pay me to do. No more, no less because this is I'm going to give you my minimum daily requirement. Or are you one who says I'm going to come in here, I'm going to freaking kick some butt, take some names, make a difference, make an impact, get more done in the time that I have than a crew of people would get done in a week. I'm going to perform at the highest level possible. I'm going to do more than I'm paid to do because Zig Ziglar said this, when you do more than you are paid to do consistently, eventually you'll be paid more for what you do. How can that be, Steve? Because talent recognizes talent. Leadership recognizes people going the extra mile. Like Zig Ziglar said, it's awesome on the extra mile because ain't nobody up there. There ain't no traffic on the extra mile. So executive performance is helping you to, first of all, become aware that if you are like 98% of this planet, you are probably playing not to lose. 
instead of intentionally playing to win. And there is a huge difference in playing not to lose and playing to win. Playing not to lose is you give your minimum daily requirement and you do just enough until it hurts or gets inconvenient or you start to get frustrated or you're fearful of failing. Then you say, I'm done. I'm done. Let's go get some Krispy Kremes because I'm tired. I'm like really tired now because whew, I think I even broke a sweat. That is minimum daily requirement. That is playing not to lose. That is not playing to win. Playing to win is an entirely different conversation that revolves around an awareness of which activities are the most important activities. So I go to the title of today's video out of Gary Keller's book, The One Thing. Until your one thing is done, everything else is a distraction. So in our particular coaching program, we address Zig Ziglar's wheel of life, recognizing that if you have a ton of money in the bank and you're hitting all your production goals, but your marriage is whack, your body and health is whack, your kids and your relationship with them is whack, your spiritual life is whack, then you are jacked up. And all that money ain't gonna do a whole lot for you except maybe afford you some entertainment and distractions while the rest of your life comes climbing around you. Zig Ziglar understood that what money cannot buy is far superior to the things that money can buy. So he addressed the whole person as we do in this coaching program. We address the whole person. What is the one activity in each of those areas that if you did that one thing today, it would have a significant impact. Are you ready? Here's the magic. Are you ready? It would have a dramatic impact if you did it daily. Now you see no fireworks are gonna go off. Nobody's gonna show up at your front door with balloons. Nobody's gonna wanna take you out to lunch for doing the daily boring tasks that are required to be done on a daily basis consistently for you to operate in mastery. If you enjoy these videos, it's because I've been doing these videos every single day for two and a half years. I may have missed a couple because I was engaged with my family and didn't pull away intentionally because I was paying attention to my most important thing after Jesus, y'all. And it was intentional and planned. Daily, 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 Jim Rohn says, I can eat seven apples on Sunday, not the same as eating one a day. I can go to the gym and work out for eight hours on Sunday, not the same as working out an hour a day. Some things you have to do daily. Your life, if it is not at optimum performance, is likely because you are not focusing on your most important activity for that particular area of your life that needs the help. You are most likely avoiding that activity or you have attempted that activity two or three times and then got discouraged not recognizing the compound effect of gradually, 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 then suddenly. There's a long runway, people, on the path to mastery and professional executive performance. There's a long path. That's why there are few masters, ladies and gentlemen, because few are willing to pay the price daily to obtain that level of mastery. So my question to you today is, out of the book, the one thing, what is the one thing you could do such that by doing it, everything else becomes easier or unnecessary. What is it? What's the one thing you can do in that area such that by doing it, everything else becomes easier or unnecessary? What is it? What's the one thing in your spiritual life? What is it? Is it spending quiet time alone with the Lord? What is it? In your marriage? What is it? What's your spouse's love language? Is it acts of service? What's an intentional act of service you can write down that you intend to perform as an act of love to your spouse? What is it? What is your child's love language? Is it quality time? Is that built into your schedule to execute your one thing with that one child so that you can fill their love tank and build that relationship? What is it? What's the one thing in your physical life that you can do such that by doing it, everything else becomes easier or unnecessary? Is it getting off your blessed assurance and maybe walking around the block and do like Zig, he called it BAM. Zig Ziglar had a BAM effect. He would walk around the block 
and a mailbox. B A M, a block and a mailbox. Then he go a little bit further, a block and a mailbox. The distance of his neighbor's driveway, a block and a mailbox. Every day, a block and then added a mailbox until he was running several miles a day. What is it in your financial life? Is it taking 10% and saving it, putting it away so that you don't touch it so you can build something to work with in the future? Is it tithing for the first time? Maybe choosing to give 10% of your income away to remind you of whose it all is anyway so that it can be pressed down, shaken together, overflow and put into your lap. Bless your socks off crazy town. What is it? What's the one thing you can do in that area such that by doing it, everything else becomes easier or unnecessary? Well, ladies and gentlemen, figure out what it is, write it down, put it in your schedule, and friggin', friggin' get to it. And do it. Daily. Because until your one thing is done, everything else in your life is a distraction. I hope you choose today to take the time to discover what that one thing is and that you have the courage to write it down and the strength with the good Lord's help to execute what you know is your responsibility to build the big life he created you to live so that you can impact hundreds, thousands, dare I say even millions of lives because you stepped out of the wandering generality life of mediocrity into the meaningful specific life of bearing much fruit. Have a great day guys.